Somebody leveled up. Anything else here? Okay. So what's left, since I'm pretty sure the uh, honeycomb is completely cleared out, aside from the dragon's lair, which I can't get to right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to know uh, an advanced version of barrier breaking, because I do not have enough piercing crystals, and I doubt they're tough enough. Before I go, I should be a smart person and uh, sell some stuff. Like this blessed shield, and these three emeralds, and these six crystals, and these five crystals. I don't care about this iron. Those are all too important. Rubies can go. I should split this and dump these off somewhere. Gold bar can go. Steel shield. Don't need that at all. Twenty two pounds, that many pounds. <sighs> Poison acid stun. Let's just get rid of this. I do need to split this. Cause I'm pretty sure I only need one. Steel helmet, iron bracers, a bronze halberd. Meh. I need a blessed halberd. There's the pylon. Oops. <laughs> no, no, no. Back to Murtis. Sixteen pounds. Let's pick these up and move them. Dropped important stuff at Mertis. Actually, didn't I already have a stash of things? Wasn't it outside Fort Dranlon? I think that's where I dumped the iron, but it's not there now. Give me a second while I cycle through these to try to see if I've left a stockpile anywhere. There's the iron. Just trying to keep all this straight. Fort Dubno. It's for Mello. Nothing. Fort Monastery. Nothing, but I will... Hey, you. Some iron. 8,000 gold, that's pretty good. And I think the best place to dump this stuff off would be... Like, right here?
So it'll be there if I need it later. And it's only one teleport away as opposed to two. Nobody else has anything worth dropping. We've already got all the training you can provide. Yeah. And there's no mage in this town. Is what's her name just sitting here forever now? I guess so. Okay. So we are here, the spiral is up in this area somewhere. Hey, cauldron bones. You still seem pretty resistant. Power of your blessing disrupts it. There we go. It takes a turn. So, on the first turn, we want to try to tap all of these guys very lightly. I mean, it's all going to be a light hit, but you want to try to hit as many of them as possible so the blessing will spread itself out. There we go. Because so we have to wait for their next turn before the blessing actually will do anything. turns to get going. Maybe it's only on melee. So, we need melee attacks. with a bow counts, apparently. Good to know. Yeah, that iron, that's worth 20 coins apiece. This is another uh, caravan ambush, it looks like. exactly sure what makes the uh, disruption happen. It's got to be just regular melee attacks like with Sorrows here. Oh boy, even more of these guys. just had their blessing removed. Yeah, the acid did it. Some damage at some point somewhere will disrupt the blessing.
Yep, the archery did it this time. <sighs> Yay, full heal. Energy elixir. Take it. Hey, guy. <sighs> Keeping at roughly full health. Now we're in the spiral. Can't say I really approve of this, because it's going to make the fights take a lot longer than they need to take. Which makes it less about just killing and more about enduring. Disrupted. Well, I mean, as inconsistent as the blessing seems to be, that's still better than how long it took to kill the one without it, since they were resistant to all damage. Disrupted, disrupted. Looks like a threshold. So what's back here then? Beware, march a spiral. Okay, this is a side entrance to the spiral. Hey, guy. I bet. Vanity are behind this. It's like every other problem in the universe. Old bag of bones. something. Good job, you did a thing. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Wow, that actually hurt quite a bit. That's a regular one. Disruption! Yep, disrupted. <sighs> Trying to be very, uh, thrifty with my magic since leaving this place would be a pain in the butt. Okay. 
find that some foolish locals tried to build a settlement in this dark place. Doesn't seem like it worked out for them. Their tools are still scattered around. They constructed a number of stone walkways. However, strangely, the walkways go right up to the walls and end. It's as if the walls have slowly been shifting around, crumbling the structures and obscuring the roads. I just look around and you notice that a symbol on your hand is itching slightly. Whether it's trying to encourage or warn is unclear. It's warning me about you, you're wretched! Ow. Thank you for finally accepting your fate.